Hey guys, Liz Peavytoe here, and I'm here with a quick public service announcement for my friends that are breastfeeding moms. Um, I am actually cooking here in the kitchen. Whoa, I almost dropped my phone. So, um, if I have to be distracted for a second here and there, bear with me. But I'm actually getting ready personally to... Um, put together the, um, what we call here in Texas, the dressing. Um, a lot of places call it stuffing for Thanksgiving day. Hey ginger. And I actually was getting out all the ingredients for our dressing and I pulled out my sage and I know it's backwards, but and it reminded me instantly because, um, if you don't know me, if you're watching this and you don't know who I am, um, I have been a registered nurse for 21 years, and I've been an international board certified lactation consultant for 13 years. So these kind of things are just like ingrained in my brain and my DNA. So um, it's been my observation, hey Kristen, breastfeeding mama, this may be something that you don't know. So um, it has been my observation over the last, over a decade, that I have, SAGE has the potential to re reduce a mother's breast milk supply. So, um, there are two things that happen during the holidays or two foods that we partake of during the holidays that a lot of times can reduce a breastfeeding mom's milk supply. Sage is one of them and peppermint is the other one. So, when do you need to be concerned? Most breastfeeding moms, so if you're, you know, past six weeks in your breastfeeding journey, I'm having to turn my food down. I'm sorry. I'm cooking right now. Um... If you're over six weeks and you have never, ever had a challenge with, hey, Jasmine, congratulations. I can't wait. I can't wait to see you, baby, your, your new baby. Okay. Um, if you're ha if you have any issues with milk supply, so if you have insufficient glandular tissue or you have low milk supply issues or a, you're a working mom who has, um, you know, who's working very tirelessly to make sure that you're making enough milk for your baby while um, away from your baby, whatever. If you've had any challenges with breast milk supply, you want to steer clear of sage and you want to steer clear of peppermint. And so that includes anything because you don't know if they're using a synthetic peppermint, like a fake peppermint to flavor stuff, or you don't know if they're using real peppermint essential oils to flavor, um, their stuff just like Starbucks uses peppermint essential oil to uh, flavor for their flavoring so their mo their peppermint mocha drinks can reduce a, a, a breastfeeding mom's milk supply so you want to be careful when um, partaking of anything that has sage in it and peppermint and sage why am I talking about sage dressing most dressing or um, stuffing recipes call for sage so, if you've never had an issue with breast milk supply, you could probably eat one serving of like, um, yes, it absolutely includes fresh sage, um, Kristen. Um, you could probably eat one serving of dressing with your Thanksgiving meal and not experience an impact. But, you know, having three helpings o over a 24-hour period might cause a reduction in supply. And there are some things that you can do to get your... Um, get your breast milk supply to rebound you would just need to talk to a lactation consultant about what to do in that situation so as a recap take it easy on sage which is included in our, most of our dressing homemade dressing recipes and peppermint so lay low on the peppermint mocha everything and like i said this has been my experience and been my observation as a lactation consultant of 13 years i have seen during this season a lot especially working moms who are working really hard to maintain their supply they don't you know they're hitting the starbucks on the way to work because they're tired from the night before and they're getting those peppermint mocha lattes and breast milk supplies tanking okay so it's okay Kristen you can still make it just as yummy for everybody else <laughs> Abby's going by me but just um, you know don't 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 gorge yourself on it okay so it like I said if you have zero um, issues with supply um, this is not usually an issue but if you're if you're if you've ever had any problems with your breast milk supply you want to you want to be careful with it. Okay, I'm going to scroll back and make sure I didn't miss any questions. <laughs> I 
All right. Okay, guys, I guess that's it. So just be careful with your dressing with sage in it and be careful with um, eating or drinking anything with um, peppermint flavored over the holidays. Okay, guys, have a wonderful, blessed holiday season. And if you have any questions, just comment down below. All right, bye-bye, guys. Bye, guys.